How's it going guys? Welsh Hunter here and we are back. So we're doing a bit of uh, exploring with Hunter today. So we're at this abandoned farm in Bridgen guys. A lot of you may have seen this already but you know it's it's a new video for us. That's the main. So as you can see we're at this a big abandoned farm it goes right over there as well. Big old place guys. So I think we've well we just spent an hour trying to get in guys. Just spent an hour trying to get in going through brambles, stingies, the lot, and it hurts, because as you can see, I'm bare armed today. So, <laughs> there we go, just one of those things. So I think we should take a look around, guys. Apparently this farm is quite cool, so let's go, see you in a sec. So as you can see, guys, it is huge. Not gonna lie. Just all abandoned, guys, all abandoned. Fields around the place as well. Big, huge containers, all, abandoned so I think we should take a look guys let's have a gander why not it's taken a while to get in here so here we are look at this let's have a look in here so I guess and they kept a lot of cattle in here guys I don't know why these big ass railway sleepers there's walls that's funky isn't it there's a railway that uh, runs alongside this place and basically it's just, I guess in what they've ripped up, this farmer of took that was uh, here before when this was an operational farm and just basically used them as walls. It's pretty cool to be quite honest with you. But you've got these little stations, I'm guessing they kept cattle in there, maybe to shear them, I don't know. Or they may even put cows in them in order to milk them, I'm guessing. And big enough for an animal. You've got these troughs then that have died. Granted, they are completely useless now, as you can see. But I'm guessing they were used to keep cattle in. Just like one or two cows, troughs were mounted on the walls maybe, and they were milked. That's what I'm thinking. But this place is huge, guys. This place is huge. Goes right over there as well. We've got buildings to our side and our back as well, so that's um, something to look at, isn't it? But this is years old, guys. Not restorable whatsoever. Maybe the building frame is restorable, but apart from that, it's all rusted and decaying. Got some gate hinges as well, so maybe this is where they held the cattle before they put them in here, bit by bit. Could be wrong though. But if you know guys, comment in the comment section and let me know if you, because obviously some of you, you know, have experience in farming. I've got a farm up in Hill Y, granted, but I don't run it. I just go up there with family members once in a while. So there we go. So maybe we should get a bit of a, how big this is. It's unreal. So you've got a trough right at the back as well. So definitely use for milk, and I'm per I personally think. So here we go, guys. Let's uh, go and have a look at a different part of this farm. It is huge. Let's, let's have a look at that part. Why not? Okay, guys. So another station, part of the building, of the farm even. It's a big old one, this. A bit more modern. It's all out of concrete and cladding. I got a feeling there's a bit of asbestos here, so we won't spend too much time here. Uh, get going but I got a feeling a lot of this that's on the floor is manure dried out horrible stinky manure it doesn't smell anymore yeah it's definitely manure you can see by the texture of it, texture of it guys definitely manure and mud it's a good size to this building fair play look at that. all the tarpaulin up there I've got a feeling that's with some uh, st either st well stables I can imagine. You've got hay on the floor, some beer cans, why not? But I got a feeling animals were kept in these as well. Big gates right across from each post to post. Hence the hay. I think big ass tractor tire. 
Yeah, definitely hay bales, Jack. What do you reckon? Hmm? Definitely hay bales parked in your animals in by there. It's gotta be. I've seen a few people over the years have photo shoots at this location because it's uh, some of it is ideal. You can smell the shit in this area. <laughs> it is huge, guys. Look at that. We just walked through that section and we're into this section. Or more manure. Generally smells like shit in this area as well. Nature is starting to take it all back. I'm guessing they would have filled these full of hay and different feed for the animals in this section and that section and that section to feed off. That would make perfect sense. Some wash stations and some water stations, a lot of wiring that's been stripped. Mm. Definite, yeah, so put hay or straw in there for any animals. Any feed as well. Yeah, and animals in your all the way down each side, feeding off these grids. That's what I'm personally thinking. Makes a lot of sense when you uh, see it. It's a big old place though, guys. Big old place. There's not much to say about it. It's just trying to grasp the, you know, what was sure. But that's what I'm personally thinking. A lot of this ground is moist from where the water's getting into it. <coughs> so there we go. You cannot get this door open. We've tried. We've got to be quiet, guys. That's why I'm not talking very loudly. But inside this gate, it's like a runoff area. It's like a little ramp, and it uh, goes around that corner to the right. So I'm not 100% sure what it is, but you cannot get this door open. It is solid. Got another gate by there. But what we spotted in here was, I'm guessing this was some sort of slaughter department. Hence the tiles on the floor. You've got these big metal rods, these beams by here. Got a feeling they were hooks, because you got little holes by there and by there, and a few other places spotted around. So I got a feeling these were hooks um, where they hung the animals to slaughter. You know, what gives me that is the tiles on the coat, um, on the walls. Makes sense, really, hooks and whatnot. And we're slaughtered and washed in here. Taken through then into this department by here, maybe, and stored. Or they were slaughtered in here. Kind of makes sense. Slaughtered in here because of all the piping, so they can wash them down, that type of thing, and then transferred in here to be hung and clipped and whatnot, and skinned and whatnot. That's what I personally think, you know, that's, <clears throat> that's my guess on the matter. But if, if you know, guys, if you've been here before, let me know, guys. It'd be, no, it'd be good to know the exact type of layout of this place. Yeah, it's definitely a storage area. Got a few things left though, so let's have a look. Got some sort of electric box by there. Some drums. We've got some chemicals left here as well. Tetroxy. 5% injection. A sterile aqueous solution containing something 50 milligrams of this uh, product. There's none left, I don't think. Instructions for the treatment and control of diseases in cattle. So it's uh, disease control. Mass. We've got a couple of other bottles here, guys, as well. Equitrum. Equitrum. Injectable solution. Surgical spirit from Boots. That's pretty cool. Some sort of nozzle. Yeah, so there's a few things here, guys. We've got other stuff by here. Got some sort of syringe, but with a plastic nozzle. Gloves. We've got caustic detergent. 
So it burns your hands. It's quite full as well, guys. So I'm not going to open that. Definitely not. Got something else like a like a yellow liquid. And we got beehives, guys. <laughs> yeah, we got hives. We got one by there. And we got a beehive right by there as well, guys. You can hear them if you listen very carefully, but you can see them as well. So I don't think we'll stay too long in here. Let's uh, make a move. <laughs> don't fancy being stung to shit today. I've already been ripped apart by stain nettles and whatnot. Walk through the way you came. So there we go, guys. And dairy ointment. So I've got a feeling this was a dairy farm. That confirms it, guys. This was a dairy farm. So due to the bottle of dairy ointment, it confirms it that this was a dairy farm. Okay, it smells oily as hell in here. Definitely oil everywhere. So watch your feet. Okay, what have we got here? I think this was equipment stores and chemical stores because there's barrels of oil everywhere. As you can see, oil on the floor. So we're gonna be watching what we do. So let's have a look guys, let's have a look over there. Okay. Just loads of, there we are, you've got what was pinned onto the animals years. 471, 472. There's loads here, there's loads of animal ear tags, so I got a feeling they could put these through the cattle ears and they were used well, just to number them so they know they come from this farm. Coloured and number tags. What else have we got? <sighs> Diary of events, we got a newspaper. Is there like a date on it? There we go guys. Let's see if you can see that. Focus. Either way, guys, it says 1983. That's what was. Uh, that's when this farm was operational last. I'm guessing. Got more containers everywhere. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Some sort of solution. Still a bit in there because it's dripping. Can't see what's on it though. It's an injector. So God knows what that was in there. But that looks painful. Look at that. Wow. So this is obviously where he stored a lot of the medical side of things, I'm guessing. Yeah, it was leaking, that's why you put this tape around it, but it's a blue liquid, guys. Anyone know what that is? Any farmers that watch this, let me know. Some sort of blue liquid. Plenty of nails. We've got some gas canisters as well. There's loads around you guys. More syringes. Look at that. So I got a feeling he prepped a lot of stuff in there. That looks like a dildo for a cow. <laughs> God knows what that is. Looks dodgy though. <laughs> Shh, keep it down. So yeah, there's quite a bit in here guys. Quite a bit. Old fashioned flask as well. That's smashed. Quite a bit in here guys, it's trashed though, so we can't find a lot. But there's a lot of parts and some medical stuff left on the floors, that type of thing. Yeah. What else have we got? Just more parts. All 
rusty that type of thing so yeah there we go some clothing oh. shush shush little birdie shush so let's move on to the next part guys plenty more to look at here we go so I think this room guys was more of a just a chill out room for the farmer maybe like an office but we've got more parts as well what have we got in here it's all overgrown guys as you can see oh this is cat or cattle was beast in here definite we've got more grids for there for feed so it kind of makes sense for cattle to be in there same in here as well we've got a cooker i think so let's have a look over here guys let's have a look so I think that was the main building where a lot of the action took place. That's probably a fair assessment on it. Right, we've got to keep it down guys, I just heard someone open a gate. Let's keep it down. So we got this big ass stylo as well guys, look at that. I guess that's where they kept grain or feed for the cattle. Kind of makes sense. If I knew the ladder was 100% safe and that the owners of the adjacent farm wouldn't see me on top of it, I would climb up there for you guys. Just for you to get a bit of a bird's eye view. So maybe we'll come back another day when it's a bit earlier and take a look up on top of there. Maybe that's what we'll do. Big ass trailer over there, guys. Let's walk through and see what we can see. <coughs> okay guys, so the last part of this farm. Some more units. Don't know what that is. Crushed up some sort of box. No idea what that is. This farm is huge guys. We've got little old, old little building with it. Kind of got in it because it's full of brambles, but there's nothing in it, guys. But we've got this big ass unit by here. Well, it's not big compared to the other places we've been, but you've got troughs by here. Either for water or food. I'm guessing water because of the drainage pipes that are in it, if that makes sense. You've got one by there, one by there. So I'm guessing water was in them areas. Not much graffiti around the place, so just odd little places. But manure again on the floor. Got some more troughs, water troughs I'm guessing. You can see where the water is stained, the side of the troughs. I'm guessing they were all fed from the central water box by you. Maybe that's what that box that we saw just outside was. Maybe that's the water box cattle were all kept in here overnight maybe or waiting to be sheared or milked sounds decent enough to be quite honest with you yeah definitely you got the board of spout pipe over there as you can see Yeah, so this is the holding area. It's gotta be. Holding area for water, food, that type of thing. Looks like we got runoffs then as well. Which is where they which are all collapsed in. There was a shelter above them, clearly, but no more. You got another building by there, which is gonna be difficult to get into it's all overgrown with stingies and brambles so I'm not even going to attempt to walk through that guys just to let you know we've already been stung enough today as it is relatively decent tractor tyre plenty of tread left so I think that's roughly it guys I think that's all we can get to today without being stung to shit so sad that this place is overgrown but it is what it is guys so there we go. Would have been cool to check out that building right at the back, but 
it is just too overgrown guys and I don't think there's much in it anyway as you can see guys I have been stung to shit today trying to get into this place from a different entrance but uh, we managed just to walk through an open alleyway which is great news for us so there we go guys it has been great it's nice to get out guys and explore it's very nice so first time I've done a farm myself guys so um, I've been meaning to do this farm for quite a long time but my previous exploring partner I've disappeared off the earth I don't know where she is it's just one of those things guys so I've just brought my little brother-in-law Jack along my wife says take Jack all right then no problem and uh, you know, he's a good one. He paid £10 for all to get here, which is good. So, there we go, guys. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic. We're going to be looking at a few other places over the next coming weeks. It's summer holidays, guys. We've got plenty of time. So, thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Don't forget to head on over to Welsh Hunter Live, where I'll be live streaming new and old games throughout the year. Um, it is purely for live streaming, is it, guys? So we've got about 15 subscribers on there at the moment, which is a lot less than we have on this channel, which is 1,755, I believe. So let's get that to 1,000. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Welsh Under, out. <laughs>